Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add some setting to our collection page. So uh, behind the scene, I designed the collection page with the basic example. I have not added any custom design. This is just the default bootstrap, just displaying product in three columns, and the other column is the sidebar, and this is the collection name. I know the design does not look good because we didn't uh, do the footer. Also, everything is unfinished yet. But this is the basic example of adding, uh, like displaying product in a collection this will be the title and these are the tags this is not all we have to do the only changes i brought was on the collection.liquid i didn't do anything else and i just created a product.price you can see all the changes on the last commit for this video it is video 30 on the github repo but what if you want to have sitting for your collection page so the end user or the client who are going to install your theme should be able to customize it for example you want the sidebar to be displayed in the right side or you want the user to add a background image for the header or change the title add description where they want to display the description or they want to center the description how you are going to add those settings i will show you in this video you can come to the setting there is mainly two way of adding those sections the first way is you you create a template for your collection that is not very really customizable because when you add a template it will just uh, apply the setting for that page based on what you assume but if you give the user the setting the user can change the any way they want it doesn't matter which template they are so i will show you both ways first way the template way let's come to our store here if i come to any of the collections that we have uh, for now you can to come to products and from here go to collections Currently, we have one active collection which is called Sport. It does not have any template, so you know it does not have any template here. We talk about template in previous videos, but let's create a template and see how the template is going to work. You can duplicate the same file here. If I check out the folder structure, I'll come to the template directory. Here is how it is going to work. You can call it collection dot whatever name you can call it. Let's save the same file that we have here and I will call it collection dot let's say dot example dot liquid and if I save it let's see if I am running the theme watch which I am not running so I will run the theme watch here so it should watch for any changes uh, if this happens for you and you are not running a theme watch and you create a file just control s save the same file while this is running again it is going to detect the changes on this file and it should upload it uh, for you even if it is not on the server so it will create a new one now it is watching for the changes all you have to do is just control s to save the same file and it is going to process and upload the same file now if i come to my template if you refresh it you should see a template uh, sitting here as you can see template uh, template if there is no template of course it is not showing because we didn't have any template so now we have the collection dot example you can pick this one and you can save the changes and this page uh, will look the same way as you have the settings here for example you can change uh, the how you are going to display the sidebar you can bring the sidebar in another example because this is another file that is how you can give user a flexibility based on template there is another way of giving user the flexibility using settings so how you are going to do this one if you're in the customize page navigate to the collection page from here if you go to collection page i will pick the sports collection so we can see all those three products from here if you refresh your page it should go to the sport collection now and show you the settings also from here oops i think it was a sport and if I come back this is the collection I have to write it here sports and I'm sure it is yeah it is a sport not a sports so just a little mistakes here uh, so it should show all the product in this collection if it doesn't it navigate to the 404 page which you can add the signal for 404 also I'll come back to the collection page from here and from here just write a sport click refresh you don't have to do this one i do it because i want to display all those products in this collection because in the front end collection we do not have all of those products as you can see we have three products here but we do not have any sitting the only sitting we have is header and footer 
This is the team sitting and this is accessible everywhere. But I want to have a sitting for the current collection here, which is the content. If you do not have it, here is how you can create those sitting. You will come to your code here in the sections directory here. Just create a file. You can call it collection dot template or hyphen template dot liquid. This will be the sections you have. Once you have the section, what you can do is you can come here to your template, which is the example one, and I will grab everything I have here. I'll cut it and I'll put it on my section. As you can see, this is in the section directory. I will save it. Now, if I come here, I will just include it using section. You can write your section. Oops, it should not be a section tag. Of course, it should be a liquid section. And you can say this was the collection template. Once you save it, let's see if everything is working fine. Yes, it is. And this time, if I refresh my page, let's see how it is going to work. First of all, I will save my changes. So this is going to use the example template. And let's refresh the front end and see if everything is working fine. Everything is working fine here. How about the setting? You should have to have able to add setting to this collection. Because if you check out, now we are in the adding all those files to a section. You know, the sections have the ability to have a schema at the bottom of it. And those schema will have settings. So if I come here, now we have a collection template that looks like a setting. If I go inside this one, it is a section, but there is no setting to this one. You can add the setting at the bottom of it like any other settings. If you check out uh, the slider we had, scrolling down, these are all the options we had for our slider. And you can add the same type of setting to the collection here, to the collection setting here the schema. So I, I'll add those sections behind the scene because it will take a little time. Those sections, you can check out the code on GitHub and you know it is easy for you if you watch the previous videos. All I have to do is just add some sections to customize this page. Either they want to display this uh, sidebar to the left or right and some and advanced setting and then I will explain you how I did it. Thank you for watching. I hope it has been informative and I will see you in the next video.